Hello world. Um, uh, I just uh, want to know why we couldn't give this man a chance. Is it because he's a father, a good dad, a Mormon, a wealthy man? Uh, has a had one wife his whole life. Why couldn't we give this guy a chance? We could have turned this thing around. He may have been one of the greatest presidents the United States has ever known. But we'll never know that now, will we? No, we won't, because there are so many of you out there who said, I ain't going to pick the lesser of two evils. Forget that. I might as well go out fast and hard and, uh, you know, put a ride in or something like that and, and just talk about how disassociated and how the same he was to Obama. Well, there was a strategy to that. And the strategy strategy to that was to try to win this election. Um and that's my personal belief and why he was very similar with uh, some of the things that Obama was coming off on is because that's what everybody seems to want and if you could have had a chance to get in there I mean my gosh we gave Obama a chance now he's got another chance to uh, do whatever. Why couldn't we give this guy a chance? I mean, I, I've seen so many people talk about he's a Mormon and they're devil worshippers and this and that. Well, I'm sorry. They're not devil worshippers. Mormons believe in Jesus Christ as their Savior. They worship Jesus Christ. He is the cornerstone and the keystone of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the Mormon Church. The Book of Mormon is a history of the people on this American continent. That's who the Indians were is the remnants of those people. I've heard people say, Oh, Mormons went to war against the United States. No, I'm sorry. The Mormons had a extermination order written out by Governor um, Governor Boggs of Missouri to exterminate the Mormons and drive them out of the state, which they did, tens of thousands of them, in the cold. That's why they had to move out there to Utah, where no one would, walk, would bother them. But yet they still went and volunteered thousands and thousands of them, went and volunteered to fight the Mexican War for America. You know? But we'd rather have a Muslim, I guess, in the White House than a Mormon. That's what I've seen a lot of people say also. <clears throat> Guys will never know what kind of
kind of president he could have been. Because I'm sure that most of the fight is getting into the office. To where you can do something. you got to get in there first. And to do that, you've probably got to play their game. We saw what they did to Ron Paul. And I'm sure Mitt Romney watched Ron Paul from the years before and watched what they did to him. He probably devised his plan accordingly. I mean, at least he hunts, he fishes, he, you know. Uh, there's been a uh, Russian sub spotted 200 miles off the coast, off the east coast. Um, you know, that's on Drudge Report. Go look at it for yourself. Clear eyes, full heart, can't lose. Awesome. We need a recovery plan. <laughs> yeah, we sure do. I just don't understand. I really don't, guys. And I'm... I'm saddened. Because so many of us were talking about he the lesser of two evils. Well, how do you know he's evil? We know Obama was. We know Obama is. We know that for sure. But Mitt Romney didn't get a chance. The American people squashed him tonight. Ran a tight, tight, good race, though. Tight, good race. And I'm not so sure that it was all on the level because there he was. He was doing good all day long until just at the end of the last hour, couple hours. But anyway, I'm... Wow, look at this. Huh. Look at that. Regular guy. People are gonna... People are gonna do what they're gonna do. We got what's coming to us, people. We got what's coming to us. We already know they got FEMA camps up in New York, and they're going to send all the <coughs> all the losers up there and deport them and everything else. Too bad we couldn't have given this man a chance, because I think he would have been a a damn good president. Like I said, we'll never know now, will we? I hope y'all are ready for what's coming. Um, just be prepared. Do the best you can. I love y'all. God bless. Good luck to us all. And uh, Chatty Dad won over and out.